Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how to write the structural Verilog code for 2 is to 1 mux. So we will be having a 2 is to 1 mux and uh, with the help of structural Verilog how we can implement the code. So we know that 2 is to 1 mux is having two inputs D0 and D1 and it has got a one select line that is yes. So if the value of S is equal to 0 the output will be D0 and if it is equal to 1 the output will be D1 and we will be having other pin that is enable bar so which will be generally active low so the meaning of active low is whenever the value of enable bar is, uh, is equal to 0 at that time the mux will be operational and if the enable bar value becomes 1 at that time the mux will be in operational so it will be in the op state we can say so that is basically how the 2 is to 1 mux will be working and uh, uh, coming to the truth table here so which shows enable bar s and y so if enable bar value is equal to 0 and s value is equal to 0 that is the first condition 0 0 at that time the output will be d0 and if enable bar is equal to 0 and s value is equal to 1 as i said the output will be d1 so what will happen if enable bar value is equal to 1 so at that time uh, without knowing the s that is undetermined the output will be directly given as 0 so it will be not defined whether it is 0 or 1 because the mux will be in the op state itself so at that time I can't say what will be the output so I can say that it will be 0 itself ok so I have I have written not defined is if it is a previous value then there are chances that the output will be some other than the 0 so I have written undetermined there ok so coming to the structural diagram so if you are writing the structural code then you can't write with the help of block diagram itself so you need the uh, gate implementation for the design so that's that is a block diagram and this is the gate implementation so what will be inside this block is the internal diagram which shows uh, some and gates and not gates connected to each other so how i written the, uh, this one so we are having two and gates here so that are basically for D0 and D1 and they are summed up together with the help of OR gates here ok so this we have used the OR gate so what are the inputs enable bar S D0 and D1 so D0 D1 enable bar and S are the inputs so we have to use a complement of enable bar and S because they are having 0 and the 1 value so I need to take a NOT gate and complement or invert them so enable bar when it is inverted will be getting enable bar which is one value and this is the zero value for s also this is one value and zero value d0 and d1 we don't need enable uh, that is inverted uh, versions because they are directly taken okay so for d0 what we will be having is enable bar value should be equal to zero so enable bar value should be equal to zero and s should be equal to zero so s is connected to its inverted version here and d0 should be connected at that time the output will be d0 so depending on s is equal to 0 means output will be d0 here so these three i have given for this and gate so whenever uh, this condition happens the output will be d0 so d1 will be not coming okay so because s value is equal to 0 here so for next uh, and gate we will be having enable bar as it is 0 and uh, s value will be 0 in this case for the d0 and for this case it will be d1 and the d1 will be connected to the and gate of course so if this condition is present that is enable bar 0 s1 and d1 is connected at that time the output will be d1 so they are connected so either of these d0 or d1 will be present so they both can't be present at a time okay so this is our simple 2 is to 1 marks works now how i will write the structural verilog code for this one so this is standard module we have to write then give this user defined name so we can write anything so i have written mux structural 2 so yes for structural and 2 for 2 is to 1 mux so so that i can identify or so it will be having some relationship with the program which we are writing so i have to mention the input output ports here so d0 d1 s enable bar and y are the input and output port so these four are the input ports and y is the output port so now i have to individually define what are the input and what are the output so 
input d0 input d1 input s input uh, that is output y and input enable bar so i have written what are the inputs and what are the outputs basically so note that they should be ending with a semicolon each and every line of this program that is in very low we have to use the semicolon at every each and every step so wire means they are uh, temporary variables which are used to store some value so wire means i have, i will be using them intermediate uh, to uh, get some work done so they are uh, temporary variables i can say so i have defined four temporary variables i1 i2 i3 and i4 okay so uh, now i have to take uh, so i will be having enable bar as the input so i want its inversion so i will use a not get here so i have used a not get already so not n1 so you can name anything here so i have uh, named it as n1 so in bracket i have to write output and input so this is a format first we will be having output and we will be having input so output for this one will be i1 and input will be enable bar so i1 value is equal to enable bar whole bar so i1 will be equal to enable bar its bar because it is passing through the not gate and coming so uh, that is inversion of the enable bar i can say similar thing is done for the s yes as well so not n2 i2 is the output and s yes is the input so uh, i2 will be equal to s yes bar here so let me just write i2 will be equal to s yes bar because it is also passing through the not gate and coming then i have taken these two inversions now so this is time to take the and gate and give the input so and i will take name it as a1 so i3 is the first one will be the output and others will be the inputs so this is the output and these three are the inputs here so i3 will be the output and uh, for and gate i am having enable bar so i have written here enable bar is i1 so i, I will be taking and s bar so s is there and s bar is this one so i2 i have to take and d0 is there so d0 i have connected here and close the bracket put a semicolon similar thing is done for the second and gate that is for d1 also and a2 so just keep on changing these number names here don't give the same name so you can give anything but change at least change the name because it will be an error if i use the same names for the uh, two and gates here okay so i4 will be the output for this one and i1 as that is enable bar and for this one i am not having a s bar because for this i want the value of s should be equal to one so i will directly use s equal to one and the third input for this one will be d1 so i will write d1 here and put a semicolon so until i have came now i have to use the or gate to sum up these d0 and d1 here so to sum up uh, these uh, d0 and d1 so i will use the or gate here so or uh, r1 i have to mention or you can say anything then output will be y for this one and inputs are the and get outputs that is i3 and i4 so i3 and i4 i have mentioned here so close the bracket so i have started a module that is max s2 so i have to end that module here so the anything which is outside this end module will be not executed so it is assumed as a garbage by the compiler of the xilinx simulation link so this is how a simple structural program can be written with the help of a block diagram and the internal gate representation so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel and like if you like the video Thank you, thanks for watching.